Hey, good morning. Welcome to Off the Mat. I'm Laura Andriacchio, and we're here to help you create the life of your dreams holistic style. So we'll be elevating and inspiring you to achieve the best you ever and emotionally, spiritually, and physically to just address the complete you. So today, we're going weightless, and <laughs> we're going to see what it's like to you know, be weightless. Well, you're not really going to see it, but I may. Um, <laughs> but what can weightlessness do to help you heal? And I have Dawn Cruz here. Dawn has an amazing uh, tranquil space that just, it's so warm and inviting. And um, you can go and float. And we'll talk about what that is to float in a little bit. And a whole lot of other uh, modalities that can help you heal, relax, and just be the best you ever. But first, Dawn is going to take us through a little centering and relaxation just to set the tone and get things rolling. So. Great. So I usually get started with my day by just doing a quick exercise where, um, you know, if you want to join me. Sure. Yeah. Join <laughs> us, please. Um, we'll go yeah. ahead and just sort of focus Can inward. You Perfect. You can, yeah. uh, you can close your eyes if you want. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and get started thinking about starting out at our feet and we'll move upward. Okay. So um, take a nice deep breath in and deep breath out and begin to notice the sensation um, on the balls of your feet and where they touch the ground. Notice what that feels like. Sometimes I wiggle my toes so I can feel that sensation um, and gently and slowly just sort of move up your body through the ankles into your calves. Um, notice if you have any tightness, um, pain, uh, anything and, and that's okay and just acknowledge it and continue to move upward um, into the knee area um, into your upper thighs again just sort of feeling the sensations acknowledging them um, and moving upward you know into your abdomen your hips uh, continuing upward into the sternum the chest area this is where I like to make sure I take a nice deep breath in out, feeling the air as it expands within your lungs, and then as you exhale and it moves out. Um, continue to then to focus upward, bring up to your shoulders, maybe do a little wiggle with your shoulders, with your arms, your wrists, feel your fingers. Again, just being totally aware in the moment, mindful and present. Um, and then let's just go ahead and bring that up into the head area, um, kind of into our crown chakra, and really feel what's going on and, and sort of take one more deep breath before exhaling, opening your eyes, and coming back to the moment. Ah, that was so nice. I'm and, glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> and simple. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated, and I love all these simple ways just to bring yourself into the present and why is that so important I think you know we are in a society today where we're constantly in motion and multitasking and going and going and going and when you really just don't give your body a chance to unplug and unwind um, you know your immune system doesn't get to do its job effectively like sure. so many so many things can go wrong <laughs> when you're not well rested when you're sure. overstressed um, you know and it takes a toll on your physical health as well as your emotional health sure yeah one they're connected exactly. one doesn't exist exactly. that's why you know, on especially here we talk about everything and yeah. you know it's all one your emotions affect your physical state and yeah, so just pausing and allows you to get in tune and maybe even get some guidance into, as, you know, as to what you could be doing to take your next step. Exactly. So, so you and <laughs> <laughs> um, how did this all come about for you? I'm sure this, you know, the story of coming to infinity yeah. has a whole lot of personal it does. It does. And actually, um, when I tell people the story, you know, it, it kind of starts out, this was what I would say an unintentional journey. Um, we sometimes <laughs> talk about, you know, you're exactly where you're meant to be in sure. the moment. Um, I had no idea I was meant to be here <laughs> just a few <laughs> short years ago. Um, but this is how it unfolded. 
So uh, I, I suffer from back pain. I have multiple herniated discs. I had had epidurals. You know, I had been trying just about everything um, to reduce some of that pain. Sure. And a few girlfriends and I decided to try floating. You know, we'd heard about it. didn't really know that much. We're like, oh, it sounds like a fun thing to do, right? right? Let's <laughs> give it a shot. Um, so the three of us went. We experienced it. And, you know, in addition to just being completely relaxed for an hour, I got out and I did not feel the pain I was used to living with mm -hmm. day in, day out. Um, and so that really struck me that, like, wow, I have one hour in the tank and I'm feeling noticeably better. So I decided to go back and make sure it wasn't just a fluke. <laughs> so a few sure. weeks later, well, did it you know, again, right? Skeptical. <laughs> right, yeah. right. It's okay. Uh, but, you know, went back a few weeks later, same result. Did it again a few weeks later, same result. So I think by the third time I floated, you know, it really clicked with me. Like, there is something to this. Sure. Not only do I, like, feel great, like, I'm calm and I'm relaxed, but physically, you know, I'm able to walk around without the pain that I'd been carrying okay. for so long, for so often. So it's not just when you were in the tank. You were, because you are weightless and floating, it continued. Absolutely. After the tank, or when you were moving about your day, and typically you'd be in a lot of pain. Yeah, so very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to talk a little bit about, you know, the experience and how, you know, for you, what happened when you go in a tank? Yeah, so I, so I can describe it. So yeah, so my journey then proceeded where I actually traveled around the country and floated in tanks in about 12 different states because I really wanted to floating under around the country. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted to kind of understand and appreciate this mm -hmm. and figure out what worked for me. Sure. Um, because I will tell you that's something I discovered very quickly. Floating is definitely a personal experience. So there are no two floats that are alike, sure. you know, and each person experiences it differently. Sure. Um, so I can paint a picture but I would caution that the picture I paint may or may not. Well, it's your picture. It's uh, right, okay. right. Re represent someone else's yeah. journey. And then it's there, yeah, yeah. for you exactly. to interpret or exactly. you know, just take something from it, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I would say, you know, the first step is to go into this private suite where you can choose from. In our facility, we have two modern pods um, which have lids that you can close. Um, to me, that creates kind of the ideal sensory deprivation environment. Um, it also creates what I call like a womb-like space. Sure. You just sort of feel like so you're in a warm so hug. Yeah. <laughs> you're in a warm hug. I like that. Uh, and then we also have two open rooms. And we purposely added those because we knew that there would be some people that were a bit nervous sure. about being confined. And then also we wanted to address a population that might have mobility issues um, or be floating, you know, at least at first or initially, primarily for pain. So we have two pods, two open pools. You go into your private suite with your private shower, shower, and climb into the tank. Right. Um, once you are in the tank, it is very difficult to describe without experiencing it, but you do float effortlessly. So you don't even know how to swim. You need to know how to swim. Mm -hmm. um, I joke with people and tell them I'll give them a money back guarantee that they won't sink. <laughs> We've never it. had anyone sink yet. <laughs> you haven't lost anyone yet. <laughs> Not happening. Um, Fred's still at the bottom somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fred. No. Yeah. So the the water we're essentially mimicking the environment of the Dead Sea sure. indoors here in Mount Laurel. Well, <laughs> you know, if you can't go to the Dead Sea. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. and I've I've floated and it is that you just you're almost baffled by it initially like how is this even happening and you're well me anyway I was like I was analyzing like wow well, okay push I'm, off the wall yeah and you <laughs> played a little bit and it, right. it's it's really cool and then it allows you to go into a state of relaxation yeah so much easier yeah. um, than when you you know even lying down you have the weight of yourself yeah. Um, pulling on you it's not there and right so yeah it really I mean if you think about it just scientifically because you're in this environment where the pressure of gravity you know the effects are not the same as standing or, or sitting mm -hmm. your spine is able to decompress your joints don't have pressure but then you know when you really kind of are in that state and and if you choose to go without light without sound mm -hmm. it allows your mind and your brain to get into that deep theta wave state which is where that real relaxation and, and healing 
can occur. Right. That's the important. The healing yeah. occurs there, yeah. and it, it truly does. It's your body's able to. It, it's not thinking about anything else. It's not reacting mm -hmm. still with all the hormones and the stress that you know. So yeah. that it can focus on healing. And yeah, the body's amazing for that kind of amazing, amazing. So <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> I know, absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna learn more um, about what Dawn has at Infinity after a few moments. So we're going to take a break and we'll be back. I want to be a contender. I want a warm belly to sleep on. A big house. How do I look? Do, do I look good? I want to play hard. My nails done once a month. I want. I want. I want a home. I just want a home. I want someone to love. Last year, more than 30,000 companion animals came to us without homes. 20,000 of them were felines. Let's make some homes together. Choosing Medicare coverage can be a very confusing and complicated process. Help is just a phone call away, 856-226-4800. As a licensed insurance agent, I'll assist you in making an informed and confident decision on a Medicare plan that meets your needs, lifestyle, and budget. Call me today for a free, no obligation, Medicare Benefits Consultation, 856-226-4800. Boardwalks built for fun. Legendary rock and roll clubs. Casinos by the ocean. Now that's New Jersey. 130 miles of beautiful beaches, solid rock, and everything in between. Now that's New Jersey. Burlington County College. Is now Rowan College at Burlington County. Still the same great faculty. At a community college ranked top 50 in the nation. Basically, we earn more and pay less. RCBC students are accepted at Rowan University after graduation and get a bachelor's degree for around $30,000. Online and Mount Laurel students get a 15% Rowan University tuition discount and many scholarship opportunities. So you earn more and pay even less. Rowan College of Burlington County. Your path to success. They are the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen. What does it take to strengthen our service members? What does it take to let them know that we stand behind them, wherever they are? What does it take to bridge the distance and keep them connected to family, home, and country? And what does it take to prepare them for their future when their service to the nation is complete? What does it take to strengthen our service members so they can be the greatest force for Pitt in the world? It takes a force. Be a force behind the forces. Share a message today at force.uso.org. I want to be a contender. I want a warm belly to sleep on. A big house. How do I look? Do, do I look good? I want to play hard. My nails done once a month. I want. I want. I want a home. I just want a home. I want someone to love. Last year, more than 30,000 companion animals came to us without homes. 20,000 of them were felines. Let's make some homes together. Choosing Medicare coverage can be a very confusing and complicated process. Help is just a phone call away, 856-226-4800. As a licensed insurance agent, I'll assist you in making an informed and confident decision on a Medicare plan that meets your needs, lifestyle, and budget. Call me today for a free, no obligation, Medicare benefits consultation, 856-226-4800. Welcome back to Off the Mat. I'm here with Dawn Cruz. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> so John is from Infinity Float in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and we were talking about floating and what that is, and um, we have some pictures to help show you what it is about, and Dawn's going to explain a little bit more. Yeah, no, I think that's, so, that's great. Yeah, so well, one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually our reflection lounge. So when you come in and float, um, we not only invite you to float or experience our other services, but we actually encourage you to spend some time decompressing after your service sure. yeah. before you head back out into the real world. That's yeah, important. Yeah, kind of little increments <laughs> of adjustment. Ease into it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, ooh. Oh, and I love these photos. So on the left is someone actually floating in a float tank. So this is what you might look like, for example, <laughs> floating in one of our pools in Mount Laurel. Um, and then on the other side, uh, the woman floating in the wide open space, that's actually a photo of the Dead Sea. Wow. So we're, we're really trying to show you, you know, that you can recreate the experience um, to the extent possible indoors um, and, and really enjoy the benefits. And that's where the visualization can come in. I'm in the Dead Sea. <laughs> exactly. So, um, and, oh, this is, looks very cosmic. Yeah, so this is sort of our, uh, our modern tranquility pod, we call it. Um, this, and it's a little difficult to see from the photo because we, we did it in these colors for dramatic effect, but the lid, which is that top section, is actually on a hydraulic um, system. So you tap a button and the lid gently and slowly closes. Yeah. And if you decide you want it back open, you tap the button again and it opens right back up. So, and about the light, that's a thing too. It's a therapy, right? You can utilize. Um, yeah. What's that about? Absolutely. Yeah. So for many, it really is about sensory deprivation. So mm -hmm. no light, no sound, no external sure. stimuli. You're in the water for a few minutes. You actually lose track of where you end and the water begins. Yeah. You know, so for some, it truly is about experiencing nothing. Right. Um, for others, the idea of having a particular color, um, you know, from a light therapy standpoint, or some people will listen to guided meditation, mm -hmm. um, that's an option. So yeah. we provide both, and it really is customizable by the individual. Right. So that's a great way to guided visualization if you yeah. have it. You know, it could be scary to sit there, like, what am I going to do for an hour? <laughs> Although once you do it, you kind of, you know, you do sink into it, and you don't really realize the time. It's right. Just, doesn't, but a guided visualization is very helpful yeah. if you need it. And some people, you know, it's, it's a great thing to utilize. Um, so the salt, um, oh, here's another one. <laughs> so yes, yeah, that's, that's someone actually floating like from a side view inside one of our pods. Um, it kind of gives you the feeling for how just very effortlessly, when we yeah. say float, we don't mean like floating in your swimming pool where you have to sort of position, effort. right, yeah. you have to position yourself and make an effort. There's no You effort. would have to try to sit up, like your legs naturally just pop right up. Right. <laughs> You're very buoyant in our solution. <laughs> right. That's cool. And then if people have concerns about the salt and what that is, what, can you explain a little bit more about? Definitely. Yeah. So, so that goes back to the solution, right? Yeah. We put um, water, and depending on the tank, um, let's just ballpark it at, say, 1,100 pounds of Epsom salt. Okay. Uh, that's pharmaceutical grade, and it's magnesium sulfate. Um, so it's very different than sodium. So people sure. who might have high blood pressure, um, in many ways, actually, floating is good for you because it can help lower your blood pressure. Sure. It lowers respirations, um, just that act of being calm. And the magnesium sulfate in and of itself regulates cardiac rhythms, you know, so it's, it's actually a good thing for very many conditions. Yeah, magnesium, um, especially um, absorbing it through the skin is incredible for yeah. just about everything, honestly. Yeah. Look yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look it up. I mean, magnesium, if you're depleted in magnesium, a lot can go wrong. Misfire, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and absorbing it through the skin this way yeah. is just amazing. And then you had touched on also if you are... Um, Limited in mobility. Yeah. A bit. Um, oh, here's a, another picture of. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's actually the perfect picture. So this is our room that we consider to be accessible. You'll notice there's like a, a little bench with a handle there. Um, the water itself is only about 10 to 11 inches deep. Right. Um, and there's more than enough room to kind of maneuver your way in. As long as someone can get from a sitting position mm -hmm. on the ground to a sitting position on a bench, um, they can utilize our facility. So whether that's with or without assistance, we have sure. a lot of people recovering from accidents, injuries, 
um, people with MS, fibromyalgia, Parkinson's, um, that all benefit from floating with us. Wow, that's great. Um, so accommodating, and if you, you know, think you can't do it, then um, you still can. And yeah, about the temperature too. I don't want it to be cold. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that kind of makes me a little <laughs> concerned, although I know the answer. Right. Know? Yeah, no. Well, thanks for bringing that up. I, I probably should mention that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so so it's not like a typical pool in that it's, it's, you know, cold. It's also not like a hot tub where it's extremely warm. We keep the temperature right around 94 degrees, which is skin temperature. Okay. And, again, the idea is for us to create a neutral state. Sure. You know, so it's. It's not too hot, not too cold. Um, it should be just about just right. Just right, Goldilocks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you really don't feel anything. Exactly. There's no extra input to your senses. Yeah. Just, and we suggest people yeah. go in wearing nothing, mm -hmm. again, to remove that sensation yeah. of a clingy bathing suit or, or something like that. So. Sure. Yeah. I mean, but if you're uncomfortable, you do whatever you want Absolutely. to do. Absolutely, yeah. It's all about you. So. It is. And yeah. it's a private suite, you know, with your own shower. So it's whatever, again, we always talk about, you know, this is your experience. So whatever works for the individual, right. um, that's what they should be doing. I'm going to go float now. <laughs> <laughs> you also have other services as well. We do, so. we do. So um, we also have an infrared sauna. Mm -hmm. So it's a full spectrum, near, mid, far infrared heat, which also is really amazing for detox, improving circulation, pain relief. Um, we have a meditation room where we have a vibrational acoustic lounger. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you so feel... Can you explain a little bit about that? Sure, the, sure. Yeah. So you basically feel the, the vibrations um, gently on your body as you're laying in the lounger. We give you a set of headphones where you can listen to binaural beats, mm -hmm. which for those unfamiliar with binaural beats, it's basically like a specially choreographed um, set of musical tones at a, at a specific frequency designed to get your brain into a deep state of relaxation. Wow. It's amazing. I would say, and, and I'm just going to make up a number, but it's the vast majority um, of folks that climb onto that chair fall asleep during their session. Oh, sure. <laughs> now I have a friend, I have to interject this, that, hey, Dion, um, but she's struggling with um, neuropathy and this amazingly vibrant, active person is not so much now, but using the vibroacoustic table was one of the first times she was completely out of pain oh, wow. for years. And that continued. I mean, didn't heal it in one session, obviously, right. but she was pain-free and able to paint and do all these things the rest of the day. I had to tell her, okay, just, you know, calm down. Right. It's, but it was amazing. The effects were amazing. It really is. And, and we partnered, actually, our lounger is, um, we partner with Pathways for Veterans. Oh, right. So we do have programs that we can run that are very specific. Neuralgia is one of them, um, immune support. Um, PTSD, anxiety, so yeah. they are unique to people's specific situation as yeah. well. So It's amazing. And then you have another little bonus here. Uh, yeah, that you our, brought our contraction. <laughs> that I'm about to um, <laughs> climb into. What am I going to do here? <laughs> well, typically, so. how, if you want to get up, okay. I'll follow you over. <laughs> typically, how we. We also have headbands. They're called Muse headbands. Mm -hmm. um, they're biofeedback-based <laughs> devices that you put on your forehead, and it really gives you real-time feedback as you meditate. So for some people, before they get in their session, they sort of need a few moments to get in that mindset. Okay. We suggest they hop in one of these chairs where you probably notice the pressure is sort of very evenly distributed. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of very relaxing. Um, and you can either pop on a headband, meditate, or simply sit there and relax for a few minutes before we bring you back to enjoy your session. I'm just going to hang here for the rest of the day, and I'm feeling ground control. <laughs> this is major dumb. Yeah. That sounds like a great I'm idea. in the most peculiar way. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I do feel like you can feel or not feel tension, you know, in areas that it's, like you said, it's equally distributed. Yeah. Now just doing this. This is awesome. So I'm going to hang here. Dawn's going to tell us where to find 
infinity. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, if you're looking for infinity float, we are in Mount Laurel, uh, 431 Larchmont Boulevard. So we're right off of Marne Highway, Larchmont Boulevard. Um, we are open six days a week and hope to see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. This is Major Tom <laughs> <laughs> signing off. So until next week, I'll see you on Off the Mat. Go create the life of your dreams. Peace.